This is a doodle bug. <laughs> right, well, we'll just continue down here a little bit then. Um, we call this our IKEA section. <laughs> now, if you've been able to wipe down the IKEA, you'll know why. Um, you get something like here in the These are all little home built. So you buy them in boxes, you take them home to your workshop, your garage, and you put them together. This is actually a replica of a doodle bug and it would have carried 1800 pounds of explosives and that would uh, create some amount of damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and um, quite a number of these were fired. Well, the Germans apparently made more than 40,000 of them. Right. And uh, huge numbers were used, of course, like yes. prim but primarily against London but other east, other south coast cities yes. in England as well. Plus, it's reckoned about a thousand of them were air launched, right. so they were carried to a target underneath specially adapted Brilliant. Heinkel bombers. Right. Then, about 50 miles from the target, the engine would have been started up, it would have been dropped, and, and it would have carried on. Carried on, on. on. Well, Manchester yeah. was attacked by 31 of them right. in December '44. Yeah, they would have been scary things. Yeah, oh well. well. Fortunately, you heard them coming, yeah. and if you heard the engine stop, you dived for the nearest shelter you could find. Yeah. But the V2s, of course, they were supersonic. That was the weapon that came after these. They were so you, far advanced. Oh, I, oh, the Germans were. Germans were. Mightily far advanced. Light, light years ahead yeah. in every respect. Yeah.